Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for the second half of your January from the 16th to the 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. We'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, outcome and advice. Uh, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation, switch the rules if you want. Uh, keep in mind, this is just a general read. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at the other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, uh, Capricorn, let's get started. Over energy for Capricorn. What is surrounding Capricorn regarding love and the person that they are connecting with? Um, sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of January from the 16th to the 31st for Capricorn. Alright, let's see what we have here. Alright, Seven of Wands. Okay, so seven of wands and ten of cups. All right. I feel like someone currently is pushing this away. It's like, you know, someone here is rejecting, you know, love offers here. So this could be you. This could be someone that you're dealing with here. Someone here doesn't want to engage. Someone here doesn't want to fight. You know, someone here is basically losing, you know, I feel like someone here has lost feelings for you because if you've been dealing with this person for a while, I feel like this person is not even jealous that you're, uh, you know, talking to other people or exploring other people here. We have the Eight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. I don't know, I feel like there's this energy of someone here maybe moving on trying to explore other options. You know, because I feel like someone here is feeling lonely in this connection, okay? This could be you, this could be someone else. Someone here is feeling like they're single, ready to mingle here. Nine of Cups. Let's see what else we have here. I just feel like someone here is not happy in this connection and is look, looking to branch off to find their own happiness here. Um, let's see, Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? the pentacles it just seems like we have someone here that's not really putting in the effort okay i do feel like someone here tried and it just didn't work ten of cups seven of swords yeah i just feel like someone here is trying to sneak away from this relationship it's like they've lost feelings uh, for it. Like I said, it, it's a situation where perhaps this person doesn't even feel jealous if you talk to talk to someone else here. Four cups. Oh, okay. You have temperance, Sagittarius energy. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. We have the world. This is coming to this is coming to a close for somebody. I feel perhaps this is you. Five of Wands. In the reverse. Death card in the reverse. One person wants to end this, another person does not. Is not ready to close this out. Someone here is still wanting to fight for this. All right? Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with the Scorpio here. Um, Capricorn. Eight of Wands. Oh. And then we have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Energy. What else do we have here? Five of Pentacles. The Tower in the Reverse. Yeah, this is a situation where someone here is allowing the Tower to fall and not wanting to rebuild this again. Because I feel like this Queen is just not happy. Yeah. 
I just feel like with the justice card on the bottom of the deck, I feel like this queen is trying to make things right for themselves, okay? Yeah, I'm just feeling like this queen feels bound and trapped. They don't want to stick around for this uh, relationship or this person anymore. I just feel like this queen wants to get away. I do feel like this is you, uh, Capricorn. But like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. The roles could be flipped or reverse here. All right, let's see what else we have here. Tell me about uh, Capricorn's person. What are uh, what are this uh, what what is Capricorn's person's true feelings and intentions towards Capricorn for the second half of their January from the sixteenth to thirty first Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs. This is interesting because I feel like both of you guys have lost interest. I feel like perhaps it could be a situation that, you know, someone here is still trying. Perhaps if you guys are married, it's for the sake of the um, vows or something like that. But I, I just feel like there is this energy that both of you guys are losing interest towards each other. You know, the King of Wands could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sag. I mean, we, we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse here. So there's a lack of attraction. There's a lack of passion right now. The Seven of Pentacles and the Strength card could be dealing with the Leo here, okay? And then we have the Tower again in the Five of Swords. So the Tower is still re remains up for this person. So we have a king that still wants to fight for this, perhaps hopeful that things could turn around or something like that. But sometimes in these situations, you got to let each other go the, you know, let each other go uh, their separate ways uh, in order to perhaps, you know, figure something out and have an awakening or epiphany. Um, it, it, can't, it can't happen. Because if you guys are sticking together just for the sake, sake of sticking together, uh, you guys are actually creating misery for each other here. And that's not healthy. Especially, let's say, uh, uh, hypothetically, if you guys have children involved. You don't want people, your children to watch that. Because that, that's giving them the wrong message that it's okay to be in an unhealthy relationship. You don't want them to learn that. King of Wands. Page of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Ace of Wands in the reverse. And the Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's this energy of just... I'm feeling like both of these are feeling this way where this is starting to become a burden. This is be this is more so becoming a chore, you know? So, uh, Seven of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups. It's like... I'm feeling like it's a thing where both of you guys are in this energy of doing something that you don't want to do. Strength. Two of Cups. It seems like you guys hit some sort of hurdle here. This is a strong soul tie, by the way. This is a very strong soul tie. It just seems like something's not working out at the moment. And I feel like, you know, there's a there's a, there's this energy of needing some sort of break here. The tower. Oh, that's too many. Right, the tower. You know, the sun. I do feel like the universe is stepping in here to help you out. This is a blessing in disguise. It gives you a chance for the both of you to reassess things here. Five of Swords. And the Four of Wands. Whoever this king is, this king is really trying. But I feel like this king keeps coming up empty-handed. But this king is still trying anyway. And we have a queen that doesn't want to try right now. And I feel like, you know, this king knows that, you know, this might be at the end of the road here. Because someone here is going to end up hurt. I mean, this is already a hurtful situation because I just feel like there's a lot of trying and it's just not working. All right. Outcome and advice here for Capricorn regarding their love situation. What else does Capricorn need to know for the second half of their January from the 16th to the 31st? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs.
I'll come in a slice. What else does Capricorn need to know? What else does Capricorn need to know here? Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Wands in the reverse. Hold on, one more. I feel like this King is the one that's having it the most difficulties letting this go. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Pen uh, Five of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands and the Six of Wands in the reverse. There's just a lack of victory and success. We have someone here that's trying, trying so, so, so hard. Two of Pentacles and the King of Wands. I mean, this King is wondering if this is the right thing to do. This king can't let this go. Yeah. Could be dealing with a Leo here. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Five of Cups. It seems like, you know, over time, the relationship evolved and sort of grew into this. It's part of the journey here. The uh, the uh, um, the devil, Cap uh, Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with another Capricorn. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. This is you right here. Yeah. I just feel like you're done with this. You're looking for something new. You don't want to be in this relationship anymore. This, the longer that you guys stay in this situation, it's just going to become more toxic. Okay. And I feel like it's already happening. Two of Wands in the reverse. With the eight of wands in the reverse here. We have someone here that doesn't want to move on. We have someone here that doesn't want to communicate. Um, six of wands in the reverse. There's just a lack of passion. I mean, most of these wands are in the reverse here. Yeah, there's this energy of sort of like letting this go and moving on from this. Two of pentacles. Seems like, you know... It's part of the life, it's part of the story that wh whenever there's a beginning, there's going to be an ending here. Um, this applies to all area in life. You know, you got to be realistic. Um, you know, love is not a fairy tale that you see on like TV and movies. That's not an accurate portrayal of love. You know, a love, there's a start and then there's an end. You know, we would like to think that, you know, Things could last forever with somebody. That would be really nice, but people grow, people evolve, people change, people's needs change. And I feel like this is what's happening here. Four of Cups in the reverse. King of Wands. We have we have someone here that's just trying, trying super, 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 super hard and just figuring out ways to keep trying here with the Hermit. I mean, there's this inner knowing that someone here knows that this is over, but someone here keeps trying. So, Capricorn, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, could be dealing with the Virgo. Uh, if it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.